Good evening, folks. As you may have noticed from my videos, I am determined to analyze Westboro Baptist Church from every possible angle. Today, I would like to look at Westboro Baptist Church through the lens of Rational Emotive Behavior Therapy, which was popularized by people like Albert Ellis. I've been reading a lot about Rational Emotive Behavior Therapy, and I think it makes a great deal of sense, though in my past, I question it. I recently finished the book, How to Control Your Anger Before It Controls You, by Albert Ellis. And in that book, towards the end, he had a handy guide to disputing your irrational beliefs. I would like to show that to you. Now, how does this pertain to Westboro Baptist Church? Let's go through this. It says to identify irrational beliefs, look for dogmatic demands, must, absolutes, shoulds. Definitely, Westboro Baptist Church is very dogmatic. Absolutes are all over the place. Every sign they have is absolute. The must and the shoulds may be something you have to find a little bit beneath the surface. You have to dig a little bit, but they're definitely there if you analyze what they're saying. They'll say things, gays must be punished, yada, yada, yada. And definitely shoulds. What they do first and foremost is picket. And every picket sign is a should. And usually a must as well. This must change. The other thing here is what Albert Ellis calls awfulizing. It's awful, terrible, horrible. Their rhetoric is full of this. Everything is the end of the world to them. Homosexuality is filthy, blah, 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 blah. Fornication is filthy, blah, 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 blah. You don't have to believe any of that is necessarily good, but they go overboard suggesting it's such a terrible, terrible, terrible thing. Low frustration tolerance. In parentheses, it says, I can't stand it. That's Westboro Baptist Church. They get frustrated very easily and they take their anger on other people. This next one is self-other rating. I, he, she is bad, worthless. Of course, their rhetoric is full of that. They'll say gays are beasts. They use terms like apostate. They like to use rebel. Rebel, of course, is a little milder than calling someone a filthy beast. But it's a rating term nevertheless. In order to change, Albert Ellis recommends changing irrational beliefs to rational beliefs, such as non-dogmatic preferences, wishes, wants, and desires. It's hard to frame their point of view in a wish or want or desire because it's all demand. Evaluating badness, it's bad, unfortunate. Now, you can look at some other Christians who will say, Certain things like fornication or homosexuality are not desirable, but they don't say you're going to go to hell for them, necessarily. High frustration tolerance. Of course, West World Baptist Church is not tolerant of much of anything, so they need to be more tolerant of frustration. Not globally rating self or others. I, others are fallible human beings. And this is very critical. A lot of other Christians believe homosexuality is not a good thing. But they're not going to say homosexuals are beasts or that God hates them. They're going to say, love, hate the sin, but love the sinner. They don't view homosexuals as necessarily the worst of the worst. I've heard one Christian say that homosexuality is not any worse of a sin 
than anything else, so we shouldn't focus on it. Now, I don't personally believe there's anything wrong with homosexuality, but if you are to believe that, it's certainly better to believe that it's not worse than any other sin. Albert Ellis also lists unhealthy negative emotions, anxiety, depression, shame, embarrassment, rage, hurt, low frustration, jealousy, guilt. Alright, anxiety and depression, not so much in their case, but I'm sure it creeps in there somewhere. Shame and embarrassment, yep, they definitely feel ashamed, they feel embarrassed. Some other books on this topic also mention unhealthy emotions such as self-pity. Paul Hawk, another rationally motivated behavior therapist, discusses self-pity as a negative emotion and Westboro Baptist Church constantly complained about, poor me, poor me, we're persecuted, we are persecuted, poor us. Now I've learned that self-pity is a bad thing, so I want to avoid it in my own life. Rage, of course. Everything they do is full of rage, is full of hate. Hurt, yep. All over the place. In the book Addicted to Hate, the author says something to the effect that Phelps is constantly going after people for some unknown injury. I'm still trying to figure out what exactly makes him so furious. I first thought it might be some negative event, some rejection, something like that, but I don't know what it is at this point. Jealousy? Perhaps they are jealous of all the people they're condemning. They're perhaps jealous that Joel Olstein and Billy Graham are happy. Guilt? Yep, definitely. They fill everything with guilt. This is bad. This is terrible. You're rotten for doing this. You're a filthy whore, they say. That is definitely guilt. Albert Ellis recommends healthy negative emotions including disappointment, concern, annoyance, sadness, regret, and frustration. Now that makes me very happy to see that Albert Ellis has room for these healthy negative emotions. I wouldn't want to give up all negative emotions. So it makes sense. Now he says the difference between the healthy negative emotions and the unhealthy negative emotions are basically rigidity. I read a book on cognitive, cognitive behavior therapy which is pretty close to rational emotive behavior therapy and it listed all these healthy behaviors. It gave all the details and it also listed the unhealthy emotions and it said basically the difference was rigid rules define the unhealthy ones and flexible preferences. Westboro Baptist Church is rigid to the core. They're one of the most rigid religious groups. In fact, I don't think there is anyone more, more rigid than they are these days. So they exemplify the problems of these unhealthy negative emotions. It is okay to express that things are undesirable in this world or your life, but they go too far. If you want to be healthy, use this example. Don't be like that.